going on to you Taurus out there so you have the lovers the five of pentacles and the two of swords so these uh, three cards right here for you Taurus are about some of you okay so a lot of you Taurus need to be very careful about how it is that you start and how it is that you're starting to perceive love and the reason why it is i'm saying that is because you're starting to look at it from a hardened perspective you wanted you you may have wanted to get to know some people and asked if they're okay and you know tried to get to know them but things didn't necessarily work out the way that you intended it to so you would unfortunately end up having to leave some people after getting to know them a little bit more because you found out that your value and their value don't exactly match. It's not exactly the same. The two of you don't really have long-term interests and goals. The two of you don't really, the two of you don't really match up. So now the two of pentacles represents, you need to, this is specifically the card that you need to watch out for because your perception of how you are starting to think of relationships is in jeopardy. You're going from the lovers, right? The lovers, you're going from the lovers because Taurus is the is the lover, the, the one that wants to love and show love, wants to find someone to love, smother them with their love, all of that good stuff. But the way that you are perceiving it, you don't want to end up being like this. A brutal uh, pragmatist. Someone who can basically bake something down to the dry bones or boil it down to, to something that is just that. Mechanically, right? Mechanically, just mechanically. That's all it is. And that's unfortunately where it is that you, Taurus, are starting to head to. So you have to watch out not to become a brutal pragmatist because or get into, or get into brut, uh, brutal pragmatism because this is unfortunately this is where you're going you're thinking of love from a hardened perspective and this is what the temperance represents you have to start you know when times are rough and you don't feel like you want to this is definitely the time where you Taurus you Taurus definitely need to be able to find a way to actually rejuvenate how it is that you perceive dating okay because if you look at it from from a sense of pragmatism right too much pragmatism you're going to end up being brutal okay and that's what the temperance is here to kind of warn you about because you may be going down the right excuse me you may be going down the wrong direction in thinking that you're right that there's no such thing as love and that there never will be and why is it that people keep hurt, hurting you by breaking your heart in the first place? And it's not that people are, it's not that you're constantly getting your heart broken all the time, right? What it is, is, is that for the most part, most people are not open to have an open heart to actually receive somebody else to be in a relationship with them for the most part it's all about control and that's all it'll ever be so you Taurus, have to learn to not take those things so personally because once you start taking it personally then you're going to be in a situation where you're going to end up having very hard feelings just about ev everything right the idea that things aren't working for you and why things are not working and then once you start to ask yourself that question that's where things get worse, it's from there. So the two of pentacles represents, you have to also remember that a, that a working functional relationship is give and take, right? It's giving, it's giving and taking. And I've said this before in a lot of my readings, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it again. If you want to date, I, like, cause see, this is, this is the delusion, right? The delusion is the idea that you will date and never get hurt, never get your heart broken. In order to date by definition, that means that you are willing to accept the fact that yes, there is a chance that you might get your heart broken. 
But what it's about is you have to learn to become more comfortable with that understanding, though, that, yeah, you're going to get your heart broken. Yes. If you do it long enough. Right. Yes, I, absolutely. A hundred percent. You will. If you if you're doing it long enough, guaranteed a hundred percent. There's no exception to that because no one is going to fit your your definition of of perfect. No one is. Not a single person. Trust me. <laughs> Not a single person. So the two of pentacles represents, but that's what a relationship is. Two flawed individuals learning how to work their, their troubles out with each other. And the two of pentacles represents, it's a give and a take. But once you give, there's no guarantee that you're going to get anything back. Anytime anyone tells you that there's guarantee that every single time they're going to give something to you back every single time, no matter the situation, they're lying to you. Because, because circumstances change, people change. It's a matter of if they, if it's a matter of if, if they stagnate, I mean, stay the same they don't but they don't make any kind of the downside to staying the same is they don't make any kind of improvements are they going to denigrate or worsen over time or are they going to get better with time but people change for the most part and the situation for you a taurus is or taurus happens to be right is Taurus is but a lot of you have to understand that for you though um once you wrap your head around that situation well enough because I'm because I'm seeing from these cards right that the, the conclusion is you're having a hard time some of you Taurus are having a hard time right wrapping your heads around that like coming to that understanding little bit tired, but coming to that understanding that you, Taurus, have to, to realize that that's a part of it and that you're not going to run away from that part. There's way too many adults who are scared to get hurt. They don't want to approach people because they're running away from the, 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 the pain of rejection. But then they want the other side to do all the work. But then but the other side is starting to become tired of doing all the work. So what you going to do? You understand what I'm saying? So so one so what I'm trying to say is live your life and put yourself out there, Taurus, because the more you try to to kind of restrain yourself to the to, to an extreme degree is actually creates more problems, right? Like it is that I said before, an example of this is one side wanting the other side exclusively to only do the approaching because they're afraid of getting rejected. But at the same time, that's caused the problem because the same side that wants the other side to own to only do the, the approaching because the other side is afraid of rejection or their side is afraid of rejection, they've been telling the other side they're trash, they're low class, they're not worth it, and, they, and no one should love them. So then when those people come up with their own bright idea and they say, you know what, since, I, since I'm not wanted, I'll just stay out of the game. And then a lot more people that happen to be on, on, a, on that same side that's told that stay out of the game. Now there's a problem that pops up of, well, how come nobody's talking to you? Because we're over here with trash. Remember, I'm garbage. Remember, I'm not worth I'm not worth this T-shirt that I'm wearing. And this T-shirt was like, what, $15? $15, somewhere around there? I'm not worth this T-shirt. So, okay, I'll stay out of the way. But you, but what I'm trying to say is don't create more problems for yourselves, Taurus, by making it so that you are dysfunctional. Don't create that problem by making it so that you're so scared to put yourself out there that all it is that you end up looking for is friends with benefits only. Because what you're going to have is you're going to be distraught. You're going to be upset. You're going to be on your nerves. 
And the more you get into a situation with friends with benefits is the worst things are going to get because it creates psychological issues. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands now is about you want to be with somebody that you get along with. The King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, you haven't necessarily been with somebody that you've gotten along with yet. It's all about what it is. It's been all about what it is that you Taurus can provide. For some of you, maybe you've tried to hug them and just smother them with love. But these really weren't people that wanted that kind of love like that where I'm getting all these notifications. <laughs> But uh, where, where um, you know, it's, they wanted all that kind of attention. But you need to find someone that happens to be on the same page with you. And how you're able to find that in the first place is by you, Taurus, understanding, number one, what it is that you want. You want to smother people with love. You want times to where the two of you can just hang out and lay up underneath the covers and turn the, the air conditioner on and just talk and relax and you know because it's better to sleep in in the, in the cool but or the cold air you know more in the cold for stuff like this and just having fun and hanging out and doing stuff like this so then you need to find if you and another person actually fit the same value system and how you do that is by asking them questions and getting to know them if you can't get a person into a, a sit down to be able to have a serious conversation with them, stay away from them. Because this person, because I've been doing your readings and this person from the past has been very much so acting, jumping around like, like, like what the Trinis would say, jumping around like a Jagabat, which is a person that is just jittery. They're all over the place. They're here, they're all over the thing, they're all over the... Sit in this, sitting in this chair, moved me up on out the way, sat in this chair and all over the place. So you so you have to be able to at least get to know somebody that is more focused. Don't be with somebody that isn't focused, has a hard time focusing and calm my day and right, calming themselves. Because this is what it is that you'll need. You'll need this type of partnership. You'll need this type of partnership. And the thing about it is, the st and that's, that's ironic that you got these cards too. King and queen, the same suit, right next to each other. That's never happened before. Like this. And then in the right positions. So again, you have to be able to understand where your value systems, the both of you are. The star and the queen of pentacles is about, and make sure that for everything that you bring to the table, have the other person bring to the table too, without making it transactional. How people make it transactional is the griminess, the over selfishness. The asking questions of, well, what are you going to give to me? I'm not going to do this, but what are you going to give to me if I do this? That's what makes it transactional. The, de the demands, the expectations, that's what makes it transactional. You want somebody to pay the bills and relate a financial responsibility of two adults, keyword adults, on one person, as if you can't figure out something, as if one side can't figure out something, on both sides, because both sides do it. Of course, one side does it more, but when some, like I said, when someone does that, that's a dub, because I, as it is that I said before, even when it comes to money, because money is a big thing, money is this grandiose thing that a lot of people will break up their marriages for, it's huge. Right. Money is obviously because of the statistics, money is a very important thing. But then they'll have one side. There will be one side paying the financial burden all the way through life while the other side kicks back and talks trash to them. Right. 
while they're while the other side is paying for something financially. No, and then and and then and then they're delusional. Oh well, such such such. When the Rothschilds, when these rich dynastic families are in a relationship and they go and they find somebody, the person that they find, I can show and prove this, they have money too. And not only, not only do they have money, their resources is shared. Both sides share resources. They wouldn't be married if one side was talking about, no, I'm gonna keep mine over here but we're gonna go ahead then they're gonna then then the other side is gonna be like well then we're not gonna get married i'm gonna go ahead and move to somebody else that got money but is willing to share because i'm willing to share so what's your excuse so make sure that no one tells you that nonsense about they don't want to give you love they don't want to give you a hug they don't want to hang out be wary of that they don't want to share their resources. Share my resources with my mom all the time. Both of us living in here. We kicking it. We doing our own thing. Family members, right? Tight. So what am I going to look like not helping my mom out? Just living here. She the one paying for everything. But I'm not contributing and that goes for anything. That can go for relationships romantically. That can go for family. That can go for friends. It gets to a point where, of course, one side, right? You, you Taurus, are going to want to stop talking to somebody if all it is that they can do is get you and look to you to pay for something all the time. And they just look to you to do every everything. What kind of, what, what is that? You're not a beast of burden. What, a, what, what is all of that? They're charging you up to hang out with them. They're charging you to hang out with them. Let's clarify the, the uh, star card. That's why I be trying to say, Taurus, like there's a lot of weirdos. People who what don't, don't understand the art of reciprocity. So you have adults that really come out here, Taurus, and think like that. Like, what are you, what are you gonna do? Well, 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 you know, even though you paying all the bills for me, well. I'm not going to give you a hug. What are you going to do to get me to give you a hug? The moon, the five of pentacles, page of cups, and then you have the seven of uh, swords. So these two cards right here are all about you keeping that type of what it is that you're looking for close to your chest. You know you want to be with somebody that actually has respect for you and that understands the fine art of reciprocity. But the Five of Pentacles represents obviously, you, and you already have the Five of Pentacles. You're not gonna say that to anybody. You're not saying that you're looking for someone to reciprocate because why should you have to tell somebody that you're looking for someone to give to you? That means that it goes to show you that that's how whack it is. This is why, this is what I'm talking about. That means that that's how bad the relationship dynamics is. The fact that someone has to be told, you have to give to me too. It's, it, it, you know what I'm saying? So if a person is struggling to give to you, struggling, you just move forward. You know, the Page of Cups and the Five of Swords is about them understanding that you have to understand this. They have to give. But see, this is what I'm talking about, though. You, they, and again, it's always some moving of the goalposts. It's always some, you have to, you have to state that you want something. It's like, but again, this is what I mean when I say, Taurus, about the transactional relationships that a lot of people try to create with you if you're not careful, right? And just and, and what's out here in general, the idea of, well, you have to put your foot down. Why do I have to? Why do I have to put my foot down in the sense of I have to make it into a big argument or a big blow up or, or creating some sort of serious argument? 
between the two of us to get you to understand that, yes, you have to automatically respect my life and respect my livelihood. How you gonna try to walk through somebody in the street when you bump into them and then you don't even say sorry and you just go home oh, oh, and just walk off as if you didn't res as if you didn't see them when the person is upset and the person is like hello how about how about an apology when they say i apologize and then you just walk off and don't even pay them any attention hello what about an apology on your side no kind of home training you understand not on your side but i'm saying on their side no kind of home training so it's like the mere fact that this is what i'm trying to say the mere fact that you taurus would have to act like that with somebody who should show you they aren't even your type you got to stay away from them but that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video